keep going to the gym every time we need a shower. It's better than nothing. I know, I just don't know how long it takes to get a boiler fixed. You can't even come out until Friday. Yeah, we did say we need new pipage. Pipage? Pipes, you know what I mean. It's going to be dust everywhere. Do you know what? I might ask my mum if we can move in there for a few days. Sorry, you're right. Something happened. Trace is getting rid of Eccles. What? No way. She is. It's definite. Well, what about your gran? She loves that dog to bits. Tracy's talked her into it. Finito, bonito, she said. She used those actual words. Are you absolutely sure? Listen, that's not going to happen. You can't stop it. No, listen. I will not let anything bad happen to Eccles. Promise. This is all very civilised, meeting for lunch. I thought I was on a bit of a promise. Well, you play your cards right, you never know your luck. <laughs> Ooh, Sally Webster, you evil temperance. Napkins at lunchtime, I mean, how classy is that? Not paper ones, either. These are proper laundered ones. Mm, anybody think Queen were popping in for a butty and a mug of tea? Well, Her Majesty will be very welcome. My toilet is pristine. Oh! Hold up. What's going on here? Uh. Me and your mum were going to have a bit of a lie down. <laughs> we're both feeling very tired. Um, Tim, I'm not six. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, my dad's boiler's broke, so we've got no heating or hot water. Well, you have to get yourself some of them wet wipes. Are you for real? No. Mum, please can we come back and stay here just until it's fixed? Please. Well, I don't see why not. I mean, it'll be nice to have a house full again, won't it, Tim? <sighs> <coughs> What's wrong with you? I'm bricking it out in case Carla comes in. Oh, she's gonna give you a punishment, yeah? She, maybe she'll make you clean her shoes. Or 500 pairs of them. Bring it on. Or maybe she'll make you do something really pointless, like standing on one leg for hours. Well, whatever it is, I wish you'd just hurry up about it. Let's go into the cinema tonight. We can't, can we? We've got stuff to do. What stuff? I promised Simon I'd rescue Eccles. Oh, what, we have to do that today? No, 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 next Tuesday. No, of course, today. Look, Simon needs someone on his side. That poor kid must be driven up the wall at the minute. He's only just started bid school, and now he's got all the stuff with his dad. I've had a lifetime of broken promises, and I am not about to let him go. To you. I think what Sophie's trying to say is we want to help. Help how? By hiding your dog, of course. What? You want to steal Eccles? No, I want to protect him. Well, for how long? For however long it takes before his psycho ante calms down. Where will you put her? Well, I was thinking number 13, because it'd be quiet, she'd have the place to herself. You can't leave her on her own. It wouldn't be all the time. Doesn't matter if you leave her on her own, she just barks. I don't think that we're moving back in there after all the begging that I've just done. I'm gonna have to leave her at your mum's gaff. <laughs> no, no way. Come on, living creature in need. What happened to Jesus and the donkey? The donkey? Or the fish or whatever it was. Come on, you heard Simon. We were only hope. <sighs> please, I will never ask anything ever again. Maddie, you say this every time. Double, please. Mm. Right, whatever. Joe, I must be crazy. Don't look so worried. Uh, we could get in serious trouble for this. For dog napping? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Besides, it's not like the cops have got any leads. Oh, um, funny. I'm thinking more about Tracer. Oh, come on, I am not scared of her. Yes, well, you should be. Look, I know I've got a lot of things wrong. <laughs> but this is right. Okay. Okay. Nobody seen you leave? No. You sure? Sure. Let's make this quick. This is her favourite toy, she likes to sleep with it. Gotcha. And make sure she's not left on her own too much. Not a chance. She's gonna be alright. You've got my promise. Just think of it as a little holiday for her. What if Tracy or someone comes looking for her? Then it will have to go through me. And me. Oh, come on, I think I'm the scary one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I can be scary too sometimes. Really? Right, I better get going before anyone notices. Bye, Eccles. Thanks. Go on, do one. Not a word. <laughs> right, gorgeous. Looks like it's just you and us now. You know, my mummy's really gonna flip if she finds out that we've been hiding a dog in the bedroom. Well, then we'll just have to make sure that she doesn't find out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't believe you found my old baby monitor. I know, it's great. I've never really used them before. Ooh. Did Ben used to have one? You're looking at her. Mm. Oh, Eccles sounds fast asleep. No. Oh. She looked really peaceful. You are actually really good with her. I bet she feels dead safe. I'd love another animal. But you've had a pet? Yeah, me and Ben had a gerbil called Optimus Prime, you know, like the Transformer. Hmm. I just have to take your word for it. Oh, you so haven't lived. Anyway, <laughs> this thing was dead fat. It had a massive bum. Oh, sounds rather cute. Yeah, the neighbour's cat thought so as well. My mum left the door open one day. Game over. Really? <laughs> How did Ben take it? I told him he was kidnapped by Megatron. Mega what? Oh, I give up. Well, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was. Yeah, well, that's what makes it funny. Your turn. What? No. You're the dog whisperer. Yeah, nice try. Do one. <sighs> but, Maddie, you see, a baby needs both the parents. You're not getting broody on me, are you? Oh, no. 